welcome. This is Melissa Arm of the Stock Switch and Reviewing the QQQs. So the market gapped down today and fell. There was a lot of reasons the market gapped down today. Uh, we had two very significant earnings last night, Google and Tesla, which both are market stocks in my opinion, and created a gap down. And we can talk about the size of the gap down if you want, big, small, medium, not that big, whatever. But either way, no matter how you look at it, the market is selling off. So today is very, very rare. Why? Because today was called a power trend day. That's not something that the market has that often. And again, it does. this has nothing to do with the overall trend of the market. This is on the day, today, you could have shorted the market right out of the gate and held it all the way down and probably held it into the, hold it into the close. <laughs> We've got less than an hour and a half left to go and make money. So. It's a day where you could have shortened and held all day. It's power trend is one direction all day. There are power trends up. There are power trends down. This was a power trend up day back here. Actually, that was right before the, uh, let me look here. Yeah, this was before the July 4th holiday. So it was a gap down here that rally power trended up. Gap down here, fell, power trended down. So again, rare to have a power trend day in the market, but we actually absolutely had it today. And I, and I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming, so really happy today. So we had some beautiful trades today. We were already in some puts. Wonderful when that happens when you're in options trades, and then you get up in the morning and the trades are up and you didn't even do anything, you were in the trades. You were just up money because you're in the right direction and the right stock or ticker symbol. Also, we did day trades today, we short. And for those of you that don't know what I do, I focus on shorting. So I have focused on really nothing but shorting and become an expert in shorting. And again, I put as a short um, since I started trading uh, back in 2008, it feels like a long time ago now, but really excited about the last couple of days. Very excited about the start of earnings season here. We've had some huge moves. This is a really big move for the market. I don't, I don't care what you say, this is a monster move for this market. The way that the market's been running up, making new highs almost every single second, almost every single day since January. Again, here we are, almost a $10 bar. This is a very, very big bar for the market and we could sell off here actually into the close. In fact, today's low is 465.27. We didn't break 465 yet, but we're close. So it's very important for traders to know how to short because you're not gonna make money if you don't know how to short because you have to know how to do actually both directions, but it is important to know how to short because if you wanted to go long here, you would have lost today. If you wanted to go long here, the market in a dip or to fill the gap, which it didn't do, this didn't fill the gap today. Again, that doesn't work as a strategy. People don't understand that. I trade gaps and let's just look at what happened here. The market closed at 480.62 and opened at 473.82. The market gapped down today and it rated to short. We were already in shorts though. That's the, that's the thing. We were already short. So really, really happy that this all played out. Couldn't have played out any better. Here, we're gonna break 465. If I had written everything out, pre-planned every single thing that I wanted to happen, it could not have happened any better. So we were talking about the big earnings yesterday prior to them coming out. I said, I don't think they're both gonna be up. I said, they could be, but I don't think so. I said, one could be up, one could be down, or they could both be down. And that is exactly what happened, which created this sell-off as well. So lots and lots and lots of things going on right now in the market. Panic is so powerful and you mostly get panic to the downside. Panic buying is something that can happen. It's rare. Here we go. We're going to break 465 right now. Wait, we have a whole hour, an hour and, you know, 15 minutes or so left to go. Here we go. We just did it. Crazy. So again, this is a power trend day, power trend day down. This is the time to trade with me. Everyone that's trading with me is making money right now. And I mean, I, this is really my specialty and what I do. So uh, just really looking forward to tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day. And we're only, we're only a couple days into earnings season. I mean, that's the crazy thing. We're like not even two weeks into earnings season here less than two weeks into earnings season and we've had some fantastic, fantastic trades. So we're uh, four if we just sell if we sell off straight down 462. 
I don't know if we're going to get to 460 today. We, we might have like a dead cat bounce in here this afternoon, but <laughs> I, I don't know where that's going to be or when. So wonderful, beautiful, red. I love red. Stock swoosh colors. Beautiful red bar today in the market. Again, the momentum today is in the downside. How to make money in the market? You got to go with the right direction. If you're in the wrong direction, you're going to lose. If you're in the right direction, it's very easy to make money. So today was an easy day for us and it all worked out on a big day too. If you have questions and you'd like to sign up for my class, the Golden Gap course, email me at melissathestockswish.com for more information to sign up and start trading. Have a great day, everyone.